everyone and welcome back. This is going to be part two of recovering my Skip Pop Forma. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a recover on the front pocket. So what you're going to do, it's kind of hard to show y'all because I'm having to lean down to show it on the camera, but you flip your pocket inside out, which isn't a very easy task. But you get the picture, kind of like that. And what you're going to do is go around the binding like you did in the first part of the other video. And unstitch all of that. I have removed all of the binding on the inside. And we're going to do the same thing that you did with the flap earlier. And that is take it apart from the zipper. Um, it should come off fairly simple. You just got to figure out which stitch it is because if you look right here you have white stitching and you also have some black stitching um, in order to do that just kind of pull apart where the zipper and the fabric meet and it's going to be that stitching right there All right, I took off the flap just like that this is literally just a pocket right now you know oops kind of dark literally just the front pocket and what you're going to do next is take off the front of that pocket um, by unstitching it I believe it's these white stitches here what you're going to be doing. You're going to unstitch those and then we'll go from there after that. Now on the rest of the bag here you can see it has gussets. The Terra Baby doesn't. So one side didn't come done undone all the way. I'm just going to leave it and then reinforce it when I sew it all back together. This one did. So I'll show you how to put that back together just in case if y'all did accidentally undo it like I did on this side. Which it's not that hard. Literally you just got to sew it like I think that right yeah just sew it flat against it like that okay, I've taken the back part off of the pocket and so what we're gonna do now is just kind of set that aside and we're gonna be working with the front of the pocket because that's what we're recovering so what you're gonna do is get your change pad and you're going to do the same thing like you did with the flap measure it pin it cut it around the edges but do not go over the zipper it's gonna be two different parts Make sure you leave enough for the hem around the zipper. As you can see right here, it's not a rough edge like I did on the flap, and I will be hemming it. Um, I will unstitch it and take this part out because I don't want to use Skip Pop's logo on something that I'm recovering because I don't want to advertise that they did that. Uh, I don't want to rebrand it as theirs, I guess. So that's what we're going to do next, and then I'll come back once it's all pinned up to show you what it looks like. All right, here she is all pinned up. Now, what I did was I pinned all of the U side, not the zippered side, on the reverse side, the inside of the pocket. And I hemmed it on these sides. I haven't hemmed it yet, but pinned it to where it will be hemmed right here. So, what's next is I'm going to sew the U sides first part that doesn't touch the zipper on both sides up and bottom and then once that's sewed and no pins are in it on um, you know the U sides I'll just have pins on the zippered side I'm gonna flip it and sew along the zipper it's just easier to me to sew next to the zipper when it's on the zipper side up so you can see what you're doing um, you shouldn't need a zipper foot for this uh, it might get a little bit tough because it is underneath already hemmed material since we are just recovering we're not like completely taking apart so you might have to play around with tension I think this is where I had problems especially with the jujube fabric so um, just keep that in mind that you might need to play around with the tension and just be patient okay I sewed on all of the fabric um, I did have a few little spots that I'm not pleased with but see like this right here it kind of got pulled back and it doesn't want to stay flat but the binding will cover that uh, when it gets sewn back together, so it's not going to be a huge issue. Uh, my only other thing is right here, I kind of strayed away from the edge so it's kind of looser, I guess. It's nothing that's going to affect functionality, and I certainly could go back and unstitch this part right here where I started to kind of stray away from it and go back and stitch it. Um, the back, if you want to see how the stitching's done on the back. And not too straight around the zippers, but around the edges I think I did pretty good. Still need to work on zippers, they're a little bit tricky. The machine kept pulling away because it didn't want to get close to where that binding already was, or not binding, but where the original hem was because it was thicker. So, next step is going to be combining 
this with the pocket, which basically you get your pocket, you stick it back on like it was, and you sew around the edges. Uh, what I'm going to do is pin it and then just re-sew it back on and then I'll be back with y'all. Alright, I have sewed the pocket together and to show y'all that I actually did, sorry for the bad lighting by the way, it's nighttime. So you can see the interior pocket there. It's all one piece now. Alright, our next step is going to be, well first I'm going to sew this little gusset back on. It's going to be easy, just put it up and then sew it right along the seam here to kind of give it a, you know, a little bit easier. One less thing I have to make sure is still in place whenever I'm sewing on the front. But after I do that, I'm going to take the flap, or not the flap, sorry, but the front pocket. And you're going to basically, it's kind of hard to tell, show y'all one-handed, but you're going to get both seams like this and sew them together along the entire thing with the seams on the inside, kind of like how you did the flap. And I'll be back with y'all after I get that done. Okay, I wanted to show y'all that you need to pin it like so. Do the bottoms first or else you're going to be having a hassle trying to flip it inside out to sew it. I made that mistake the last time. So do work from the bottom up so that way it's a little bit easier on you. Okay, I sewed on the bottom of the flap right here. But what I'm going to do now is get my binding. And yeah, I'm just reusing the old binding. But what I'm going to do, instead of starting my binding... Sorry, starting my binding like right here. I'm going to start it like this to give some slack right here. So that way when I get down to these sides, I don't have to meet the edge, like the other side of the binding down at the bottom right here because it will be really tough to get to at that point. It'll be a little bit easier to get to over here. So I'm going to apply the binding, you know, about two inches or so to where it's like this and it'll overlap over there. But I'm gonna start it like about right here. And then I'm gonna start working from the sides down and applying the binding after I've sewn the sides. All right, I have the pocket all the way on. It was kind of a doozy. And as you can tell, I kind of messed up with the zipper right here. Somehow I ended up with extra zipper towards the top and so I had to kind of buckle it because there's really no way to take away a piece of zipper. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. I promise it's not that hard to unzip it. It's just not easy to do one-handed. But, you know, this is what the inside looks like. I reattached all the binding. As you can see, flip it around. But yeah, binding's all reattached. We got our pocket on fully now. And you can join me in my next video to see how I attach pockets. They're a little bit different. I don't undo the bottoms. I just undo the sides. Otherwise, it, I mean, I can't get my machine down there to reattach it. I mean, you could. You could hand sew right here. That's what I had to do on my other one on the zippered pocket. But I'll get more in detail on that in my next video. So stay tuned. Subscribe, like, show some support if you have some comments. Leave them down below. Uh, if you have tips, because I still am not the best at sewing, <laughs> uh, please link, link them down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right.